Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make nunchucks out of paper. So, I'm just going to jump right into it, just right now, without any intro. <laughs> so, all we need to make nunchucks are three sheets of paper and a glue stick, glue bottle, hot glue, any kind of glue. So we're going to start by taking one of our papers and I just like to start by gluing the top instead of doing it later. And now we're just gluing the top the short way. Now we're going to make kind of like a medium size roll, not nothing too large or too small, just rolling up the paper the short way. When you're done, you can kind of just smooth that out. You might find that uh, it might be a little bit uneven right here. If you want, you can just trim the sides off. You also need scissors, too. You can just cut that off on both sides. Alright, we're going to do the same thing with the, our uh, second sheet. We're just gluing the top like so. Don't need to load it with glue, just a, maybe like two or three rounds. And then you can just try to make it uh, ex as close as possible. Because these are going to be the handle for the nunchucks. And then we can trim the sides off if you need to. If the sides just look ugly. Not like this kind of, like if there's some like passing and didn't roll like completely straight, it's it's fine, you just need to trim it off a bit. And then we have our two handles. Uh we're just gonna go into the chain. Mine's gonna be kinda like a lime neon green. This actually is neon green. Okay, so this is probably the most difficult step, but it's not like making the change probably the most difficult, but it's not too hard. Um, so what we're gonna start with is gonna fold the uh, paper in half a short way. Now we're gonna unfold that, and now we're gonna cut on that line. I'm just gonna tear it because I'm a little bit more accurate tearing. Oh, that was way off. Just tear the paper. If you're not good at that, then you can just simply use scissors. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna fold it half again the short way. And once again, cut that out, cut it out, cut it off, on the other side, and do it the other side too. Again, it's not too hard to uh, make the things, it's just definitely harder t to roll up the paper. So if you have trouble with that, I don't think you can do anything. Again, it's not very hard. Now on all four sides, we're going to fold in half the long way this time. And once again, we're going to cut on that line, crease. So we have two of our chains. We only need six chains. So one of these is, is going to be one chain. We need four in the middle and then two to connect, kind of like to go inside the uh, handles. Oh, I folded it the wrong way. Sorry, let me use a different one. So we're folding half the sh long way, rather. Let's say short. Now 
and two. I only need uh, six of these. So I just need to use three of these uh, quarter sheets that we just created. Oh, I was just about to crease that. I'm always making that mistake when I'm making my checks. Bring that up, cutting right on that line. And now you have six slips. And then one of them you can just use it for something else, or you can just throw it away. It's not needed anymore. You still need to use your uh, s glue. I don't think you're going to need scissors anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so now we're going to take one of our slips, and obviously we're going to do it to all six. So what we're going to do is going to fold in half the long way. And then fold the folded edge to the raw edge. I was folding on twice. And now, what you kind of want to do, I'm just going to give it a nice sharp crease so it doesn't come unfolded in any way. We're going to curve this section. Kind of just like rubbing it. Don't like crease, just make a curve kind of like this. And then this allows us to kind of close that in and make a chain but right now we're not going to make the chain we're just making the part that goes into the handle so what you want to do is going to get your glue again open it up and then want to you kind of want to find that center point and you can kind of just like push it down and you can kind of curve it again just to make a little design and now you kind of want to find a about a centimeter and glue it to the bottom. Oh, pause. I just dropped on my pants. You can just glue a specific section. The part that you're not gluing is the part that's going to show on top. So I got a lot on my desk. You can kind of just curve the top. And then you can kind of just slide it in one side and really push it down reach in push it down kind of want to hurry up if you're using elmer's before the uh glue dries i'm using elmer's as well so yeah it's kind of hard to make this stick if you want, you can add tape instead of glue and then tape the bottom edges and then just tape it down. So anyway, we have our first kind of section here. You may want to let this sit so it can like really get stuck. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna real quickly fold these five in those curvy U's, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it real quick. Just yeah, that didn't work. I got that good. Usually for most origami stuff it's important to be accurate. For this, not really. And by the way, I'm also teaching you how to fold some dragon claws and and nunchucks. So yeah, if you just want to stick around for that, then just do. <laughs> so here's one of the U's. Um, if you go to my about page, you can just email me. Just fill out this kind of survey thing. And then you can kind of teach me how to edit, because I do not know yet how to edit. And I'm only 10, so I can't, like, hire someone. Just curving that. Into a kind of U shape. It doesn't have to be, like, a direct U. Oh, by 
by the way, every video, like my top, my first um, few videos, like every few videos, I'm gonna be mentioning a YouTube channel that I really enjoy. So in the last video about the Among Us, I think, I mentioned uh, TVNR frags um, about the airship. This time, I'm going to be mentioning the Dangy Bros. This is, that's probably my favorite YouTube channel, no offense. But, uh, yeah, they're just really awesome. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check them out. And, uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to them. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just curving that. I have four of them done right now. I I just have one more now. The drying claws are much faster to make. Make make All right, so that is my last one. So once you have all five, I should, probably shouldn't have left that out. What we're gonna do is start making the real chain part. So what you're gonna do for the chain is we're gonna get the handle that we just attached this side to, like the kind of beginning of the chain. I'm gonna take one of our kind of U-shaped papers. I'm calling these U-shaped papers from now on. So when I say that, just mean I'm talking about these. Uh, so now we're going to wrap the bottom side into this kind of hole section. Can I just tuck it in? And you kind of find the midway point. Now I kind of just want to curve these in to make a, you can kind of like bend it to make either a circle or a square. I kind of like, I mean oval or circle. I kind of like mine oval shaped. So I'll just show you the sh sh uh, so what? The circle and the oval shape. So we're just gonna undo that and glue the bottom this time. Just one of the sides. Not much. And once again find that midway point. It doesn't have to be exactly midway but and kind of curve and glue the bottom section to the top section that I just glued. Yeah, that. So this is a circular section, the circular chain. If you want to make like a oval section, it's not very hard. You just stick your finger here and then kind of just squeeze the sides. And then kind of just fix it a little bit. And now you can see it has an oval shape. I definitely like mine better on an oval shape. So now we're basically just going to do that for all four sides. Oh, don't do all the except for one of them. So that's going to connect to the other hand. We are almost done. Also, if you figure out how to get my email, you can email me ideas of what to do for next video. Because I just barely got this idea. And so I'm filming a little late. And I might upload it later than usual. Except for the my second video. I posted at 10 p.m. It's only about 9 right now. Where I live. And also... If it's available, I'm not even sure if it is. Comment down below where you think I live. I'll give you a hint. Over here, it's really snowy. And then in the 
if I remember the next video, I will uh, say where I am living. It's real. I'm just gonna say it's really cold and snowy. There was a blizzard here maybe a few weeks ago. That's what I'm saying. Alright, so we're doing all except for one of them. So this is my last one. So just wrapping them midway and then kind of just curving on top kind of pressing that down it's definitely much easier to do use like hot glue because then basically just uh dries immediately and it sticks much better okay so for the final one i should have done this earlier uh yeah i'll have to start over so i'm wasting just kidding so I should have done this earlier, now it's going to be a little more complicated to explain. So basically what we're going to do is kind of like a mixture of what we just did to make the singular chains, our wrap around, and the first thing that we just did. So what we're doing, instead of kind of curving and making a chain, we're going to tuck it under this of this kind of thing, of course, and then kind of slide it in to the handle so i'm just going to glue those down i really am exhausted with this gluing uh in the next the dragon claws there are no gluing it's just five sheets of paper i kind of just tuck that in Just slide those in. Well, what was that? <coughs> oh. This is really hard because my finger is not. I should have made this much wider than my finger because I knew this was going to happen. I just. I haven't made nunchucks in a while or any paper weapon. I've mostly just been using paper airplanes just, you just really want to press down if you want I don't think this is possible but you can kind of just like reach in a stapler and kind of just staple that down it's definitely gonna hold it but kind of just make sure all the sides are glued on tight just to close this at this point it's gonna dry out this is probably a bad idea wasn't that damaged. Anyways, we have finished nunchucks. These, I don't think, are super hard to make. And they do kind of spin around. They really do been around like real nunchucks so I should probably sh this is kind of like a Halloween kind of nunchucks if you want you can add like designs on the handles but those aren't really necessary because of if you use if you're like me using the uh, color paper uh, I should probably shouldn't have said that so these do work well so now we're just going to move on to the dragon claws. Choose a color. How about yellow? In case you don't know, my favorite color is. Well, it kind of depends. On screen, it's cyan because it's a little brighter. But in person, it's red. So what we need for this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, or A4. This is all folding. There's no glue, just five of these for all four fingers, five fingers. So we're gonna start by folding half the long way. Okay, see. I'm gonna unfold. 
fold and fold the top edge to the center. It's just like my paper airplane tutorials, this feels like. I got some glue on my shirt. I also customized my banner. I don't think it looks super cool, but I, I, I like it. And my profile picture. I don't know why, but I feel like switch up my name on the YouTube bar. It shows a profile picture, but then once you click on that, it shows a different one. The one that's on my home YouTube channel, I think is a lot better. So once you fold the top edges to the center, now we're going to fold these diagonal edges into the center. Um, comment down below if you want me to... Yeah, never mind. I shouldn't say that. And now we're going to rotate our sheet and again fold the top edge to the center. I don't think yellow really shows well on camera. I'm not sure. But I hope it does. Once you do that, you can just fold that in half. I haven't made this in a long time. I don't even think I memorized. Okay, yeah, there we go. So now we're going to make a crease that starts right at this point and somewhere uh, around this section. I'm just going to make the crease and then kind of just show you why uh, you have to do it at around that specific point. Oh, totally later once we get to this step. So once you do that, you want to fold we go flip it on fold on this edge. And then once again I need to fix this is getting a bit wrinkly. It's kinda of just pulling down. And then you want to fold along this edge. Okay, now we're on our final step. So I might have made this a little bit too large. I fold from here to about three inches, but I think it'll be okay. So basically, if if it passes too far, I'm just gonna fold this edge to this edge that I've been using that, or just as far as it'll go. So now. You see we have this triangle here, the triangle section. We also have this pocket. What we want to do is we want to tuck this triangular section, you will guess, into the pocket. So we're basically just opening up this pocket, just sticking your finger in, and then kind of, you can just kind of squeeze it to really open it up. You can kind of fold this tab behind as far as it will go and then yeah and then you can just open up this section and you can wear as a dragon claw if you want you can put two but I'm just gonna use one so this is a dragon claw you can put on all four fingers So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'll see you next time.